Well, there's Kinsley Pike over there. It's off to our right. We're heading up under high rays. Um, and when we come off it, we'll just backtrack down the hill, down the moor there, and, and then turn off on that track onto Kitsty Pike. It's like a motorway up here. The good thing about this area is you can knock off a bunch of rain light, rain rights all in a pretty short space of time. So, uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with today. Well, I will be when I get back to the car. <laughs> Making good progress now. Pretty flat uh, grass. Pretty flat um, walking until we get to this hill, and then the progress will slow down a little bit. But we just come into the junction of the path we take back to Kitsty Pike, which across there. So, one last push onto this summit, and then we'll have one more way right to do for this trip. Right. There's high rays, summit can. And uh, what do we do? We do that. Look, somebody's just balanced a little stone on the top. We do that. Don't ask why. But the, the bonus is it's a nice shelter there. Sit down and have a cup of tea. And there's uh, the remains of High Street disappearing up in the distance, getting lower and lower. What a wonderful walk. Magnificent. Grace fell over there just here. Beater fell there, we did that yeah, a couple of weeks, a couple of months ago. Hallin fell over there. Ah, incredible. Great Gable. Yeah. Cats to come, Helvellyn. Even see Skiddo, Skiddo there and Glen Cathra. Wow. That'll do, won't it? Right, cup of tea time. Oh. Okay, there it is, Kidsley Pike. Just a small can on the top. Well, I'm out of breath coming up there. Touch that, job done. Look at the view down there. I don't want to be falling down there, do I? Yeah. Let's get off here. Lovely views. I'll do that in a minute. Well, that's us on Kitsy Pike. Six way around of the day. And what a walk. It's been brilliant, hasn't it? It has. Absolutely brilliant. fantastic. Yeah. So uh, now we're going to head off down in that direction over Kidsty House, which are over the hill there. That's his water down there, and the car park's round the corner near the wood, and on the other side there. Looking down Riggendale, fabulous view down there. What a lovely little valley. Much better than that. Okay, we're off down. See you down there. Well, it's been a cracking walk. This, uh, even the route down is is no big deal. It's just a nice grassy slope on the way down. Uh, so we get down off, off here, and then I think I think we deserve a pint. If we don't deserve a pint after that. I don't know what. So the only public house, it's actually a hotel, it's halfway back along the lake on the way back. So I think we'll probably be calling in there for a walker's reward. That's what you have to do. Okay, there's the lake opening up. Lovely stuff. Well, we're just passing through Kidsley House now on our descent. Uh, we've all stripped off again, it's nice and warm, the sun's out. This looks quite 
quite a nice place. I'm just trying to negotiate some bumps in the ground there. Yeah, quite a nice place. Uh, quite a few people kicking about. Yeah, it's really popular fells these. So anyway, we're going to stop here and have a cup of tea. Lovely. Turning into a really nice late afternoon now. Good view down the lake there. And that, uh, that summit behind the little ridge here, that one up there, at Brand Street, and then you carry on over the ridge, Sellside Pike, we've done all that. That's another good walk. And this lake actually is a reservoir for Manchester. So uh, that feels all the feeds all the Manchester area with water. There's the valley bottom, 100 yards away. Once we get there, pretty straight walk back to the car then. I think, I hope. Maybe my 100 yards to the bottom is more like half a mile, but I do exaggerate a bit. And the remains of a settlement over there, which was probably part of the village of Mardale which was submerged when they flooded the valley so I guess that must be the remains of the bit that they didn't sink now what used to happen with these small settlements uh, or the, in particular the settlement, settlement of Mardale was if anybody died they didn't bury them here I don't think there was a church or anything like that so what they do, what they did, there's a track, just where me, just about where my finger is, it goes up the side of the fell, it follows that gully up to the left, and then goes up and over that fell top, right over the fell top. And it comes out at a place called Swinside Head, and that track is called the Old Corpse Route. And it, you can see it winding its way up. Just winding its way up, up the side of that gully, up the left hand side of it. So that's the old corpse route, uh, over to Swinside Head and there it met a, 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 probably what was a car track then, it's a proper road now. And it would take them to a church to bury them. So uh, a bit of a journey, they had buildings every so far along the track, where they could settle down and have a rest for the night and with a, with a, with a dead body. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's what they used to do. Interesting, eh? This would have been a really nice place to live. Hey. Where we stop? That's the River Riggendale Beck. So, get over the other side of that. And then uh, just follow the path round, up that way. Still got a fair distance to go here. That's where we came down from up there, Kitsty Pike on the left. Kitsty House straight ahead. We're in the bottom now. And it's a really nice view down Hawes Water. And we're now on the track heading back towards the car.
Up that way. So we're still going uphill. I thought we'd finish with that. <laughs> but never mind. We'll soon be back. Well, I've just come around the corner and there's a car park over the lake. About a, maybe three quarters of a mile away. And there's Nanbield Pass up there where we started our journey. So we've We'll soon close the circle and, uh, and the jobs are good. Try stone wall disappearing into, a, into the lake down there and, and coming up over the other side over there. Wonder who built that? He wouldn't be very happy now, would he? How far to go? Right. I've just spotted a shortcut over this stile. Oh, that's hard bloody work. Ooh. Right, there you go, over the stile, car park over there, walk down the path there, over the stream, saves us walking right around the edge of the lake. Got a few hundred yards off, brilliant. Right, all we've got to do now is get across a small water back. Yeah, there we go, I'll get across there. Yep. You can get over up there if you can't get across here. Right, well that shortcut didn't work out, we're back on the path that <laughs> we're back on the path that we left. I'm gonna go over this bridge, through that gate, that little path up there and back to the car there. <laughs> I don't know. Nanbeal Pass, that's where it all started. Oh tyrant clown up there, but beautiful. It's easy to walk on the grass, but you're supposed to walk on the stones. Oh. Well, I look forward to putting my feet up after this one. Well, we've just closed the circle, and there's the track we went up to Nanbield Pass. And, uh, the car's just down there, so uh, we're nearly back. 